with so many of us staying home, I don't know about you, but I can honestly say that the delivery rate of goods to our home has been on the rise, be it UPS, FedEx, Amazon, or even the grocery stores. So this also generally means the dogs that barked before are now on high alert, waiting for the next box to arrive. This can also add to the stress in the home as the barking gets worse, nerves get frazzled, and things just start going downhill. So what do you do? I have a few options to help you tackle this. The first is to teach your dog to bark on cue and in turn teach them to be quiet. Now, if you go this route, I'll give you fair warning. If you don't train this to completion, you run the risk of having a dog that barks even more. Number two is to trigger the bark by creating a noise, generally a knock at the door or a ring of the bell. Then with cookies, redirect your dog with a verbal quiet. When the redirect, when they redirect, offer praise and cookies for a job well done. I would then move right into another behavior such as go to bed or crate or even as simple as a look at me or a sit. You have to tailor that to your dog's skill set. So this helps redirect your dog and gives them something that is appropriate to do. Number three is to allow them to bark a couple times, then get their attention in kind of an excited manner and run to the kitchen with your dog in tow to get a high value treat. This is fun. So we're capitalizing on your more fun than barking at the delivery person, right? So the point is to, they have it be fun and it's got to be a game. So once in the kitchen, away from the delivery, pay your dog for following you, then ask for a sit, a down, etc., and pay again and again. By the time you are done, the boxes have been dropped and the delivery person is gone. For my dogs, number three is my go-to, but you know your dogs in your home. Pick the option that best suits your home and dogs and give it a go. For those that are part of our online academy, this lesson is being recorded, not this lesson, but a lesson is being recorded with a full breakdown on how to have success in your home and will be up live soon. So if you're not yet part of our online academy, not to worry. Check out our ever popular training and wellness dog school at the link below to see if what I have to offer fits your bill. So for those that have dogs that bark over the top, did you know that diffusing certain essential oils can help add calm to your home for both you and your dogs? When I share oil tips, I do so based on promoting and using doTERRA essential oils. If you're using a different brand of oil, please make sure to read your labels to ensure the safety of use. So many oils we think are safe are really not. So read the fine print and keep your family safe. So my bonus tip is to help train your dogs not to bark, including or with using some of my favorite oils, or they could be your favorite oils soon too. So those would be doTERRA Balance, doTERRA Serenity, and doTERRA Adaptive. When using oils for support and training, it's important to diffuse at least 20 minutes or more prior to your training session. This allows the oils to do their job before you get started. Using oils when training helps many dogs remain under threshold, which is a fancy way of saying allowing them to think, which in turn gives you prime training time. If you don't yet have your own doTERRA oils, not to worry, this is part of what I do, make sure to reach out and we can chat more specifically about your dog and the problems you're having and how using oils in your home can make a huge impact. That's all for today. Make sure to check out some of our other videos located on my website, a vlog, as well as my YouTube channel. All the links are below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.